This is beacons.ai, which is an all-in-one creator platform where you can build a creator store to sell products and digital products. You can create email marketing. You can use it as a link in bio. You can have a media kit here, a whole online store. There's tons of creators that use it. It's very powerful. It is backed by AI. So there is a lot going on behind the scenes with this that make it a fantastic tool. So we're going to get started and create our store and see how quickly we can get it up and running. So we're going to click this get started for free button. You can do that or click sign up at the top. And then the next screen is to claim your link in bio, which is beacons.com. AI and then the forward slash and then your username. So I'm going to type in my username, create with pennies and see if that's available. I got a little check mark. So the green check means it is. If it wasn't, it would give you a X. So you have to come up with the username that is available. Then click next. The reason why I like this one is because you can start for free, which is fantastic if you don't have a lot of money getting started. So we're going to create ourselves a little account here for free by entering our name and email address. And then we're gonna create a password. So we are all set up with that. After you enter your name, email, and password, you're gonna click the little verification recaptcha to prove you are a person, which is always fun. Then you'll go down and click the create account. If you don't wanna use your email address, you can also just sign in with Google, Facebook, or Apple and do it that way, but we're gonna use our email address and click create account. So the next thing that happens is you add all of your socials and then you add your Instagram, your YouTube, TikTok, and then they use their AI magic to create a perfect start to your LinkedIn bio. So we're gonna go ahead and add one of these. So we're gonna add YouTube and I actually have to double check my YouTube account. So I'm going to put my username there for YouTube, create with pennies. I try to use the same thing on everything just to help with remembering and branding. And then you're gonna click the next button and then they are gonna customize the experience for you. So here we're gonna see a little bit of the AI getting started and this is gonna look different depending on which you have added for yourself and what your social media looks like. So this is just an example with my YouTube channel. So it says, hey, create with pennies, welcome to Beacons, has my followers on YouTube and we're gonna go down to the bottom and click continue. And then it's giving us a little bit of a slideshow to show us what it's gonna deliver as it creates it. So you can't really do anything here. You just kind of have to wait for it to finish. It's doing its magic in the background and you are kind of waiting around till it's done. When it is ready, a little continue button will come up so you can click continue again, and then you will hopefully get soon onto doing all of the things you want by clicking continue again. So once they have pulled everything over, they'll pull over your profile picture. If it looks good, you can use that. If they pull something from another site that looks a little low resolution, you'll get a notice down here and set, that says what they recommend. So if that's the case, you can click the camera icon. So we're gonna pull this up, select the photo we want, click open, it's going to upload, then you can move it around to your liking. I'm just gonna center myself and click accept. And once I click accept, it will upload that profile picture. And then it will give you, this image is a high enough resolution to work with. So that's great. So once you get that and it looks good, you can click the looks good button down below. And then they get your page ready while that is uploading. They're customizing things and making it look nice. So they add all the different sections. They add some YouTube videos from your page if that's what you've added. And then the next section, you can start styling your page to kind of make it what you want. So primarily it's gonna have my YouTube link there and then a referral link to make your own Beacons page and then a subscription little section to enter your email to get people to subscribe, some YouTube videos, and then my products down here, which is as a digital product seller, what I want to have showing pretty high up there since that's going to be the main thing I'm using with beacons. And so you can scroll through and look at the classic portrait and banner options for how your design is going to look for how your beacons page looks. And then you can also play around with the styling. So if you want it to be a different color background to kind of match your branding, you can play around with that. If you are loving a certain color, you can also generate with AI, which is interesting. When you do that, you can generate a palette. So there's a lot of different options to play around with here and you can kind of just mess around until 
until you're happy. So those are the standard colors that they're giving you to style your page. You can just select a black or white for a really basic clean look. So you can make it look a little bit different with your fonts if that's something you want. Or if you have a font here that you use all the time, I actually use this one all the time in my own designs and branding, select that. And then when you're happy with how it looks, the basic idea, click done. So they're done with your page based on the info you gave them, which for me was YouTube. So I'm going to be able to basically click this link and see what it looks like. So if I paste it in to my page, I can see my picture, my YouTube channel, the link to make your own page, the subscription area, my latest YouTube video. So it looks really clean. It would be great on social media. And then of course I can continue to customize it by clicking next. As you're getting set up, they're gonna also ask if you're interested in brand deals because they have tools that help you monetize your content, which is a great thing if you are a content creator using this. That's why so many content creators are using Beacons. It's kind of an all-in-one tool, having somewhere where you can sell your products, you can connect with your audience and earn money with brand deals is ideal. So you can click yes down here if you're interested or no at the top, I'm gonna to click yes and then they're going to actually create my media kit as I'm getting set up. And this is because I put in YouTube as one of my options, so they know that I'm probably making money off brand deals, which I am, and that I'm gonna want a media kit. So this is kind of what they have set up automatically, which isn't the best, honestly. So it didn't really pull in any information from my channel. It says I'm a lifestyle creator, which I'm really not, and then it doesn't have analytics, but we can fix all that and make it work and look great. So we're we're gonna go back, then we're gonna click next at the bottom, and then we're gonna look at the options here. So then in between us finishing our setup, they gave us this little ad to upgrade, to pay for the monthly or yearly plan to get the marketing bundle. So it gives you a couple options. If you don't wanna do that, you can skip for now, or if you wanted to, you can upgrade, but we're gonna skip for now because I do like the fact that it is something that we can create for free. And honestly, for social media, link in bio, you don't really necessarily need your own custom domain because it's for a very specific purpose. So I'm going to skip for now and then they are going to have us all set up. Hooray, confetti, wonderful. So that takes us to the admin dashboard section, which is great because here we can kind of adjust things and make this what we actually want it. So one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is verify your email address to publish your profile. So that is something you have to do to get started and it's gonna be in your email so you can hop over and then do that. And you have two days, 48 hours to do that. But to adjust your beacons page, you basically are just going to drag and drop. So you could drag your YouTube video up higher and it's gonna show you kind of where it is showing. You can drag your store up if you want to have your products up higher. So you can have your store being the first thing. So your products are front and center. And that's kind of how you do this section. You can also click on them and it's gonna show you what is shown inside them. So you can do it by clicking over here or you can also click over here on the phone where it's showing you a basically live version of what this looks like. So you can click on either one. I'm gonna click back on links and over here, I'm going to go ahead and just not show the beacons, make your own beacons page, even though it's a referral link. I don't really want that on here because that's not my main source of income or something Thing I want to be promoting on this. I want to be promoting only my own items. So that's just my personal link in bio preference. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And then you can always go back to adjust the other items. So if you have that empty store block, which you will when you set up, they always seem to have the empty store. Just so you're going to add your products, you would click on store and then you can just immediately create your storefront and upload a product within five minutes. It's amazing. So here they have a couple different options. You can do a digital download. You can have appointments for coaching. You can do a course, a membership, import a product, add from my products. You can have a link that goes to your products if you do it from somewhere else, or you can add from Shopify, which is new. But if you have a Shopify store, you can just do that, which actually I do. So I might actually try that as well. And then the, down here, they have some examples of different products that people sell. So they have courses and private sessions. You can actually click on those and go to the shop and see what they are selling and what they're selling it for. So that's pretty interesting. It also allows you to see like a product page. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's very simple. You can have testimonials, buy now button. It's really simple, but that keeps it very easy to make those sales. 
So let's say this is gonna be our first product. So we're just gonna click digital download for the first time and it brings you up to the product builder. So click let's go and this is the awesome product and we're gonna just put one of my products in here. So let's just edit this. So it gives you a little walkthrough over here. It shows you how to edit, how to design, how to upload your product files and edit your checkout. There's so much you can customize with this. So it makes it really easy. And then when you're done, you click publish. So whenever you click on something over here, it's gonna come up on the side and be where that's where you can edit it. So let's click on the title and let's make this our digital product starter kit. If I could type. So we're gonna change the product title and then we're going to change the price. So click on the price. And over on pricing, you can do a set price, pay what you want, mark as on sale, or make it free if you want it to be a lead magnet. So that's an option two. It gives you a little it's free button, which is cute. It could be on sale. You could pay what you want, which is also nice if you have products that you are kind of offering out there just to see what people will pay because you know some people will pay more than others. So you can do a set price as well, which is what we're gonna do here and we're gonna put $17. You can enable a payment plan on a pro account if you're paying for that, and if not, you don't need that. You can also create discount codes down here by clicking the plus sign, and then you can just create the code and put in the discount and save it right here. So you could say get 20, and then you get 20% off the product and click save. So that is a coupon code, and you could just give that out to certain audiences if you want to give them a discount. So that is really great. And then over here, you can change the product photo by clicking the little edit button. And over here, you can either add an image by clicking the add image button or embed a video. So we're gonna click add image and then you can upload from your computer or they do have options to use stock images or AI generation, which is kind of cool as well, but that is on an upgraded plan. So you can't do that with the free plan. So if you wanna just upload an image, you already have a sales page image, you can click upload image and then find that image. So find that image, click open, and then it's gonna upload the file to your page. Once that happens, you can adjust it if needed. If not, you are good to go and click accept. So then it is gonna list it over here as an image. If you wanna get rid of the one that Beacons added, you can always delete the image by clicking the red X over the image and then clicking the delete button. So there you go, you have your product image there. And then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do for your product page is to edit the text. So it gives you a little layout of how you could add a description here, which is really helpful. Or if you already have that written somewhere else, you can just copy and paste it over. So I'm just gonna do that and have a quick little product section pasted over. So we can do some bold and some changes here. So this is actually all bullet points. So we're gonna select this and make it into bullet points by clicking the bolded list. And then we kind of have everything formatted, at least in a good way to get started. So once we're ready with this, we need to then add our product files because of course that is very important if you're selling a digital product. So once you have your whole listing ready, you're gonna click product files up at the top, that button, and then you can either add a URL by clicking add URL and then link to it. Or you can, if that's in Google Drive, that's actually really helpful. You can link to the Google Drive there. Or you upload the file. So you click upload file and then you find it in your files. So I'm gonna find the first file, click open and then upload it. And you can upload up to six items. So I'm gonna find the next one and then I'm gonna find the list and upload it, click open, and then it's gonna upload the file. And these are the files the customer sees after they check out and pay for the item. So once you're done, you click the X. If you wanna delete something, you could click the red X over the product name that will delete the file. So once you've done that, you're ready to go and you can actually go through the checkout process and change how it looks if you want to. You can also edit the URL, which can be helpful. So that is something you can do on a pro account if you have that. And then you can look at the success screen, what it looks like. And then you can see what the email receipt looks like by clicking this tab, which is really makes it really easy for customers to download. It's a very simple process. That's why I like this for digital product sellers. And then when you're ready, you click publish.
So your product's been published to your link in bio. It shows you there. And then it gives you some ideas on how to start selling via email, sharing things. And then you also need to set up your payments to actually collect payments. So Beacons doesn't really do that for you. You need to either have PayPal or Stripe so you can accept payments. So I'm going to connect my PayPal by clicking connect. It takes you over to PayPal and then you're going to sign in and click next. So if you didn't have a PayPal account, you would have created one there or it will take you to where you log in and then you click log in after you enter your information. And then it brings you to the screen where you're gonna give Beacons AI permission to connect to your PayPal account. So you would click allow in order to set up the payments. You can always change that in permissions and settings inside of PayPal later if you decide you don't wanna do that, but you are authorizing them to complete PayPal payments with your product. So once you're done, you click return to Beacons AI, and then you go back to this page. So that brings us back to our dashboard and we can see once again, everything in our link in bio it kind of start you in the link in bio and then you can see it over on the side but it's still showing an empty block on the store section for us so let's check the store out and see if we can fix that so right here it does say empty store block so we need to figure out how to fix that so we did add a product so let's see if we can add from my products yes so once you click add from my products you click that select the product that you added and click add products so that is set up now to buy, but it does say we need to set up payments. So the one thing I like about Beacons is that they remind you on things that are going to be a problem. So there's lots of reminders and little uh, things to make sure that you don't miss any steps because there can be a lot of steps when you are setting up digital products to sell online. Okay, so once we've done that, it is now showing our digital product starter kit that we added as a product. So now it's gonna have the buy now button over here for customers. So we can click on our link and actually preview what it looks like. So we can go to our site so we see our face our YouTube and then we see our product so you can click on the product and see what it looks like on the product page so it has the buy now button the description and then you can click through and check the buy now how it looks the checkout all of that looks great then you can also connect your Shopify store to beacons if you want to if you have that option but that's basically how you create a beacons.ai link in bio and your store really really quickly this did not take long at all it was super simple and you can keep adding products and then you can also sell different types of products you can check your earnings you have lots of things inside of beacons that make it a really great option for selling digital products i like it as an option it's a great option if you want to get started for free instead of shelling out money every single month you can always upgrade and get some of the additional tools but you can start selling a product for zero dollars get it in your link in bio kind of get some feedback get some interaction with it and see what works and what doesn't play around with what you're selling and what you're showing your audience when they click that link in bio and that way you have a little more data to go off of before you start paying for something every single month. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you get your Beacons store set up immediately and start selling your digital products so you can create your own income online.